Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is collaboration, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Collaborate and Deliver Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll review the core functions associated with collaboration technology, including single point of access portals, instant messaging online chat, application sharing, and shared workspaces. Portals are frameworks for integrating information, people, and processes across organizational boundaries. Providing a single secure unified access point, often via a web browser, they present a personalized view of information through application-specific portals or windows on the main screen through which the different applications or their content can be viewed and accessed. Instant messaging is a real-time text-based online chatting mechanism like instantaneous email, though the text-based part is routinely now complemented by other means of communication like voice or video, the ability to link to outside resources, and the ability to transfer files. These enhanced capabilities put it firmly on the road to application sharing, which lets the people you're chatting with actually see and interact with the screen you're looking at. One person usually controls the application at a time while the others view it, and in some systems, control can be passed around. There are clear trust and security issues associated with this, of course, so most tools enable the sharing of only designated applications rather than all the ones that are running. For larger groups, and for groups involving participants from outside the organization, centralized server-based spaces are provided either by an in-house solution or an outside service to allow this to happen in a controlled way. Web conferencing takes this a step further by putting sharing on the Internet and potentially adding such other capabilities as Q&A sessions and voting, and sometimes the ability to archive and index the proceedings so they can be referenced and leveraged later on. This latter alternative puts us squarely on the road to shared workspaces which formalize the model on a grander scale and are aimed at rolling document and application sharing up with chat and other means of collaboration, including versioning and other auditing capabilities. Depending on the offering, they may have more or fewer of these and may be available both for license and on a syndicated basis in the cloud, as they say. Google Docs is a notable example of the latter, EMC Documentum eRoom of the former. The functions we have just discussed are all important parts of electronic collaboration. These included single point of access portals, instant messaging online chat, application sharing, and shared workspaces. And together, they're reshaping the way people and organizations work together to meet their shared objectives. Next, you may wish to add social technologies to the conversation and explore what they bring to the collaboration table. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.